I have said it before and I will say it again. Some mathematical competitions can be toxic and they can create a toxic environment and a toxic mentality that students might think that you need to be very good at mathematical competition style problems to be able to be a good mathematician when it is in fact not true. My impression is, and I, I don't have data to support this, but my impression is that most of the mathematicians I have met, and some of them are incredibly accomplished, they're excellent mathematicians, most of them have either not competed at all in competitions or competed, but they were not excellent and they did not rank and they did not get medals. Um, it is not needed to have that kind of skill to do well in these competitions to do research and to do excellent research in mathematics. There are, of course, notable exceptions. Some mathematicians that are really good and they were excellent at competition level mathematics. For example, Mariam Mirzakhani won two gold medals in the International Olympiad. But that doesn't mean that you need to have won gold medals to be an excellent mathematician. Being great at solving Olympiad or competition math problems is good to solve other competition math problems. It doesn't translate necessarily to research level mathematics and you can learn how to be great at doing research level mathematics without being able to solve those uh, type of problems quickly and under pressure. And don't get me wrong, it's great that students go and compete and have fun uh, doing math and all of that, but these competitions attract students who are already very enthusiastic about math. Uh, these competitions train these students to do well specifically in those type of problems. And these competitions leave behind a lot of other students who are left wondering if they don't have what it takes to do mathematics because they didn't make the team. And then there is the Putnam exam in North America, which seems to be set up almost as if we were trying to discourage students from doing mathematics. And I say so because, for example, in 2024, out of 120 points, the average was 8. 8 out of 120, not 8%, 8 out of 120, and the median score was a 2. Why? The 4,000 or so students that took the test were trained by their institutions. They were selected as a team by their institutions. So they were already very good students who were trained for this type of exam, and yet the median score was a 2. There were students who didn't make the team, and then those who made the team scored so poorly that, well, they say, I hope you had fun participating and engaging deeply in these type of problems. I don't think anybody has fun getting a 0 out of 120 in a mathematical competition. I think it's toxic, and I think it should be set up in some other way so that students get a chance to score, at least get a 1. You might say, well, if we made it any easier, too many students would get the top score. And to that I say, so what? And second, the very top score of this year was 90 out of 120 points, which is a far cry from a perfect score. The next few scores were in the 80s. It's not like a lot of students were already very close to the top score. So it could have been just a little bit easier so that most students would have actually been able to solve at least one problem and get like a 10% uh, grade. No, instead it's made so that the students are essentially humiliated.